These are my most addictive fragrances right now. Are you guys ready? If so, keep watching. Before we get into the fragrances, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. So what do I mean by my most addictive fragrances? These are basically the fragrances that when I go into my perfume area, these are the ones that my eyes just get drawn to. These are the ones that I want to keep wearing. These are the ones that I keep sniffing. So they're not necessarily my most worn of the, mo of the most recent period, but they are the ones that I keep wanting to wear. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. This is my second video of this type. So if you have not seen the first one, please make sure you check that one out. I am trying to do these on a monthly basis, kind of like a monthly fragrance favorites. So let's get into the fragrances that were so addictive to me this past month. So the first fragrance that I have is one that I actually unboxed with you all here on my channel. And this is from Navitas Parfums. It's part of the Enamored Collection from Big Beard Business. Make sure y'all check him out. I'm sure you know who he is. He released five fragrances with Navitas Parfums. And the one that has been calling my name recently is Soir Exclusive, the one in the red bottle. This one is next level. It is next level, y'all. It's so sweet and sultry and spicy, and it's different than anything in my collection. So let's spray some. So first of all, that atomizer. <laughs> but we're here to talk about the smell. Oh gosh, so I definitely smell the marshmallow in this, but when you mix it with like coffee and spices and cinnamon, it just is like a super like sexy grown up marshmallow base scent, but it's not just marshmallow if that makes sense. So I definitely think this could be worn by a male or a female. I think it's perfectly unisex. Whereas most, mar most marshmallow scents I feel are very feminine. This is not the case with this one, but this is just so intoxicating y'all. I definitely think there's a bit of booziness to it as well, but nothing over the top. I've been wearing this during the daytime a lot, so I think it can be perfect for daytime or nighttime, but it's just one that makes me just want to just keep sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. <laughs> definitely a date night appropriate scent, a Netflix and chill appropriate scent, or if you just want to be fabulous and walk through the grocery store, it's that type of scent too. I just really love this one. I think it's really versatile. And I think it performs really, really well. So shout out to Big Beard Business. This Soir Exclusive is the business. <laughs> the next fragrance that I have to share is one that I honestly didn't want to put in this video, but I felt like I needed to be very truthful with y'all. The reason I didn't want to put it in this video because I feel like I've talked about it so much that like people are probably sick of hearing about it, but here we are again. And the fragrance I'm talking about is none other than Grand Soir. This is from Maison Francis Kirkjean, and this is a beautiful amber vanilla scent. Uh, so it is spicy, it is warm, it is cozy and comforting, and the dry down is a bit powdery, but not so much so it's not old ladyish or old manish in my opinion although some people have said that <laughs> i disagree this is like the most well-rounded balanced amber fragrance that i've ever smelled and it's just gorgeous y'all i didn't spray it but it is so good it's it's just perfect for cooler weather I think it's perfect for date night. It's perfect for during the day. Again, I mean, it's just something that I keep wanting to smell. Like, I keep wanting to wear this. Sometimes it's too hot for me to wear it because honestly, I live in Florida, but I wish I could wear this a lot more. And it's something that lately has just been pulling my eyes to it. Also, um, on top of that, it lasts all day. You don't need a lot and it projects pretty well. So I definitely think you cannot go wrong with Grand Soir. And then the last fragrance that I have to share with you today is from an indie perfume brand. And this is from Ganache Parfums and this is called Lemon Cream. This is an old bottle, so I think the packaging has changed. 
I ended up picking this up off Mercari, but I'm pretty sure the bottle has changed for this. But this scent is amazing. If you like sweet lemon scents, this is a good one to try. And they're not that expensive. So let me confess to y'all. Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris. You may remember that I picked that up not too long ago. I ended up selling that because I have other lemon scents that I like so much more. I got this one shortly after the Zara. And then at that point I knew, bye bye Zara. Like I don't need you at all. This is a hundred times better than that Zara <laughs> lemon pastry scent. This is lemon meringue and like buttery cookies it is oh, a gourmand lover's dream if you like lemon you need to smell this oh my gosh oh my gosh this is just an excellent lemon scent if you like gourmands and you like lemon this to me is a must try now i will say these fragrances i have ordered from the company like i said i picked this one up from Mercari. Um, but I have ordered some other fragrances from the company. I hope to do a brand overview in the upcoming weeks. But if you order from them, be patient. They are an indie fragrance house. They are a black owned fragrance house. They do take a while to ship your items. They do say that on the website, so pay attention to the shipping times, but they are totally worth the wait. Totally, totally worth the wait. Everything I've tried from Ganache Parfums I've liked. So if you're into gourmands, um definitely check them out but anyway this one lemon cream has been calling my name i've been liking to wear it to bed a lot and during the day it's amazing so good so yummy it's like making me hungry mm. so those are my three most addictive fragrances right now please share with us down below what fragrances have you been attracted to over the past month or so what fragrance do you want to keep wearing have you tried any of the fragrances that i mentioned here what do you think of them do you agree with my thoughts on them let us know down below so we can have a conversation thank you guys so much for watching if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and do it now and thumbs up this video and i will see you in the next one bye